Well, hello YouTube. Today, I have my GSX-R 1000K7 out. Probably, well last year I only did about 80 miles on it. For the last four or five months I've been riding my Triumph Explorer. I've just got on this one to ride it. <laughs> I cannot believe how high the pegs are. <sighs> oh. And how bent over I am. But it's nice to be out on the old girl. I've done a lot to her. Um, she's not looking quite as perfect at the moment because I broke the top fairing and I've now I've replaced it now with a carbon fiber genuine proper carbon fiber item but as I do a walk around later you'll see that I've had it um, pepsied it's a black bike but I've done it inverse so it's um, it's pepsied and so that the stickers I haven't managed to get the stickers put back on yet and the seat hump I've swapped to a carbon fiber item as well so again that one needs some um, tidying up uh, the only reason I swapped that was because I spotted the carbon fiber one cheap and I scratched up the stickers when um, one of my um, paddock stands fell on it. So yeah, I haven't used this one for well, I've certainly not ridden it for eight, nine, ten months. And I think actually getting out on it now for an hour is going to be good because I can start building up the strength in my wrists again. But yeah, when I do a walk around, the most important thing on this bike, and it's the one thing that will prevent me ever selling it, is I've got it signed by Kevin Schwantz. Um, he had a there was a dealer that invited him over for a question and answers and um, I took my bike along got my lid signed got my bike signed and um, I should have I should have actually scratched the tank up in advance and then got it lacquered but um, I didn't so rather than have the danger of the lacquer ruining the signature I've um, stuck some clear tape over the top which doesn't look brilliant but it protects the signature so yeah this my friends is my K7 I think she looks sweet. So yeah, front here, <coughs> PFM brake discs. With sintered glass pads, exhaust, end can and catalytic converter remover. Uh, titanium, axle bolt, key tech. K-Tech chain adjusters. I bought this at the NEC show. I think it's but ugly, but after I paid what I did for it, I felt the need to use it. Uh, new carbon fibre top, like I say, there's some colours missing there. It should all match in and you see the 34. 
uh, light tech fuel carbon fiber seat pad or seat top Kev signature Yeah, it's got hidden in there. It's got the Power Commander 5. But yeah, I think she's a sweet machine. And I've got back into riding her already. And a tail tidy. So, this is my remote control for my drift cameras. Needs charging up. The light cover is on Velcro, so it oh, it just comes off. Uh, over time, I plan to probably remove the pillion pegs because I don't take pillions on this one, and just get a axle by an exhaust bracket. That'll lighten it a little bit more. But I mean, the big things, all that's left to do really is maybe monoblocks on the front. Um, quick shifter, I want to fit a quick shifter. And maybe get this suspension sorted out by K Tech. Uh, Other than that, I can't think of what else I've done. Uh, different um, windscreen, windscreen bar ends. Um, I can get carbon fibre that bit, but some of the other bits are quite hard to get in carbon fibre, so um, it's like the seat unit I can get that bit in carbon fiber but not this bit so it would all look a bit strange but we'll see but other than that that is my gsxr 1000 k7 oh and it's got i've got different levers cheap chinese shitty things um i didn't like them initially uh but i've got used to them now If you're whirling lights, come on. Which is actually a good thing because it's been stood for so long. I can run it right down low and then fill it up with uh, premium. And uh, will be it for a bike that hasn't been run much last year. Uh, she seems to be doing really well. Um, I did have the F1, dreaded F1 light earlier, I couldn't get rid of it, but as per normal, take the key out, wait a minute or so, put it back in, and all of a sudden, mysteriously, that disappears. Like I said earlier, it's a bike that I'll never, I'll never be able to part with. I mean, there's an argument to say I could buy another tank, put that on, take this one off, and keep this one, just store it. But I really love this bike.
And next I'm going to go out on my Triumph and take the lad out.